And ladies, guys, Aunt Mary back here. Hope you're doing good. Sorry, just laying in bed drinking my beer. And so, I just had got off work at the Acme. And I try to go in there with a freaking positive mentality. I walk in every day and I go, hey, Jim, how are you? You're certainly not being an asshole today. Hey, Dawn, you definitely deserve customer service employee of the year. And I try to have a good positive outlook on life. But then they stick me on freaking self-checkout where people go knowing damn well they shouldn't because they didn't know how to work the freaking machine. It's okay. Go to a freaking cashier, Bonnie. Oh, no, Janet, Carol. They'll help you out. You don't got to struggle at the friggin' self-checkout. Or they go, hey, Mary Pat, you're not doing nothing. Can you cover the uh, deli? I am doing something. I'm on my second smoke break. So, anywho, Dawn comes up to me about two weeks ago, and she goes, hey, Mary Pat, you know, I'm really friggin' struggling right now. You know, uh, my husband went through a rough patch and got friggin' fired from his job, and now he's drinking, you know, vodka every night, and uh, I'll know what the friggin' do. And me being a good freaking person out of the kindness of my heart, you know, I give her 50 freaking dollars. I'm like, take your time, pay me back. It's all right. You know, I'm doing good. Yeah, take care of yourself. Do what you got to do. So two nights after that, on freaking Facebooks, I see Dawn and her husband out of freaking Outback Steakhouse dining on freaking Flaming Yon. And friggin', you know, drinking all, all these fancy drinks, <laughs> celebrating our, you know, anniversary. And I'm thinking, okay, you know what? Maybe they just needed that, you know, to to get their marriage, you know, back together working. I'm trying to give her the benefit of the doubt. Because you know what? Don't maybe a piece of shit, but I still like her. You know, she's fun sometimes or whatever. So then, a week later, she's at friggin' Harris Casino. Going on Facebook's live for no goddamn reason at all. And go, hey, yeah, we're partying. We're living it up, girls' night. Well, first of all, I weren't invited to girls' night. And second of all, you're betting with my $50 on those friggin' penny slots, you jackass. What the hell are you doing? So I'm casually dropping, oh, I don't got enough cash to pay for gas. Oh, I can't get my smokes today because I don't got no cash on me. And she has the audacity to say, hey, that sucks. Are you shitting me, Dawn? You asshole. You owe me 50 freaking dollars. Now I can't say because I'll be the piece of shit. So you know what? Here's the thing. You guys out there thinking, oh, your friends are struggling. You want to help them out. You want to loan them money. Don't never loan nobody money. Don't do it. You ain't a freaking bank. Okay, you're a person. You can't lose nobody no goddamn money. Here's what I say to do. If people are struggling, go, here's $50 to leave me to hell alone and never ask for money from me again. Because guess what? Every time you lend it to a friend or a family member, you ain't getting it back. And if you do, you're the bad guy because you got to ask. So Dawn, if you see this message, kindly send my $50 back or shove it up your ass. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.